Hi, I'm Jonathan, originally from Switzerland, but I live here in Norway. And what got me into breathology in the first place was freediving. Uh, when I started practicing, I really enjoyed the sport and I started to uh, become an instructor and do more training. And I was kind of lacking a good tool when it comes to stress management. Uh, we did a lot of technical things, improve CO2 tolerance, but how do you calm down in a stressful environment? Uh, I found that challenging. And uh, well, when I got the opportunity to uh, become a breathology instructor, I started to dive a little bit more into the uh, methodology and I got quite fascinated by the package that was put together with a lot of very, very good tools something I was lacking from my freediving training. So uh, I, while I started practicing, and especially when I started teaching, I focused more and more on stress uh, management. I'm also the uh, director of a software, sales director of a software company, uh, father of two children. So uh, there's tons of um, challenges in everyday life that I need to, uh, to take on. And having those tools is really, really helpful. But what fascinated me is when I started to teach those tools, I was expected mostly freedivers to come to the training, but I had all kinds of people, young, old, health professionals, uh, doctors, physiotherapists, uh, people curious about the human potential. And well, actually, uh, maybe my core motivation, even below freediving, is uh, that of exploring the human potential, that which I thought was impossible, by like controlling your autonomic nervous system. So, uh, yeah, my favorite exercise when it comes to breathology, well, I would maybe have to say it is still uh, breath-holding, uh, because it kind of gives me superpowers in my everyday life. You know, I'm very busy with family, with work, and it's challenging to find time to work out. So I'm not proud of my physical condition, but I do have a good CO2 tolerance because I can train it. Uh, I train it while I walk, while I go up the stairs. So I combine that with uh, everyday activities. And what happens is even though I'm not able to train cardio that much, I'll still able to take a run or go fast upstairs or, you know, run for a bus or an airplane and not be out of breath. And this simple fact for me, it makes me feel um, stronger, more confident. Uh, it's a very strange feeling when I realize like, hey, I can keep on running, no problem. My CO2 tolerance is up. And when I see uh, people around me that do not have this simple knowledge and do not have these simple exercises and struggle in their everyday life, recovering, you know, from uh, illness or just being in bad shape and being so limited. Uh, I really see a fantastic potential in teaching those simple tools that will be a gift for life. So this is my motivation for being a breathology teacher is to share these methods and see more people not only adopt these methods, but make them their own, make them a part of their everyday life and bring about a change.